The treatment of plantar fasciitis should begin with a hot pack to the back of the calf and bottom of the foot. The foot should be held back with a belt to stretch the foot and calf simultaneously for about 10 to 15 minutes. Following this, self-massage with a hard object like a ball or frozen water bottle over the plantar fascia should help loosen up the tissue further. More soft tissue work with the foam roll is desired on the back of the calf to help loosen the tight muscles and fascia as you see here. Any round, hard, and durable object will do. The use of massage cream will help further increase soft tissue extensibility and help prepare the tissue for stretching. You may experience a little bit of discomfort, but it should reduce your overall pain. Easy back and forth joint moves can help improve the foot's mobility as well as reduce pain. Here's a side view of the Gastrocker Runner Stretch. Make sure you keep your heel down. Here's the top view. Standing on a small towel will help isolate that stretch and place less torque on the plantar fascia. Here is the same stretch using a wedge or a slant board. Note that the use of the towel again to help build that arch up. Exercise should start by working on the toe intrinsics. Simple towel grabs shown from multiple angles. You will want to do this on a smooth surface. Adding ankle inversion here with towel grabs can help build the arch. As seen from multiple angles, you can see the increased concavity of the foot here. You can also pick up items from the floor. Marbles or smooth glass gems would work well here. Don't get too frustrated with this exercise. It can be challenging. Now we'll focus on the glute med with the side lying leg lift. Working the proximal hip is very important for proper foot placement and overall stability. Make sure you lead with your heel, not the toe. Lateral walking with TheraBand is also challenging. You should feel a good burn here on the outside of your hip. Keep those toes pointed straight ahead for about one to three minutes for this activity. Stand and kick your heel out to the side. Keep those toes pointed straight ahead and don't turn your foot out. Make sure you do both sides here. For a greater challenge, stand on an uneven surface. This will also make you work on your balance. Again, make sure you complete this exercise both sides, three sets of 10. Point that opposite toe up, slowly lower your heel to the floor, but don't rest it there. Just lightly touch the floor while keeping the knee aligned with your foot. Don't let your knee bow in or out, keeping the knee directly over the toes. You may use your hands to help steady yourself for balance. Here's a look from another angle. Keep the knee behind the toes. Do not allow the knee to go in front of the toes. The knee going in front of the toes here will cause excessive force on the knee. It's always good to finish up with another runner stretch, three sets of 30 seconds.